right? Uh, um, nothing new here is time sensitive, so let's check the new area. Uh, oh, there's a new path there. I didn't start the quest yet. I I thought it would be through the tunnel. Okay. Um, I thought it would be through the tunnel. Oh, that kind of looks like the entrance to another area, like the chasm or Economia. So, Mars game way too big with this overworld map compared to the other regions. If they keep the space, most that in Liu will look too small. Hey, that looks closer. Okay, I don't think that's Celestia. Wait, man, the company will hurt some kind of bomb point. Maybe some treasure bird that is drawn to somewhere. She probably gonna set her at it. It's fine. Here? Oh. Found it, found it. I don't wonder what it is. Mr. Drum, this one has a cry marking on it. Seems a bit out of, out of place. Oh, come on, this is no treasure, it's just some tattered old drum. We don't know what it could be used for either. Plane. If you brought it to Royan, the antique seller. If you brought it back to the academia, brought this back to the Grand Bazaar, I think it's more well, I think this guy may know better. Uh, he had something with mechanicals, academia. Mm, that's right, they might want to hear more about something about the desert. I was not all that interested in, in this studying stuff, but we can make a little this and that of their budget, why not, right? Uh, hold on, there's a note over there at the side. You might just hold some clues. So, the, my option was irrelevant. Nameless Adventures Notes. This time, I've been commissioned to try to find a local order and obtain information about something known as the Sign of Apaosha. I must say that remuneration seems quite outsized when compared with the mission content. I hope I won't get caught up in any trouble. I reached the entrance to the Temir Mountains with the help of the uh, Anaerobite mercenary. 
but he refused to continue onward, saying that this was the border of war. It must be some sort of desert dweller superstition. Contrary to what I was told, it seems that these Nagarjunites, Nagarjunites are not very friendly to outsiders. Uh, looks like I'll have to try infiltrating the ranks. I finally managed to make it out. Thankfully, these people are pretty civilized, so I managed to get away with my life. As I thought, these high remuneration commissions always have something fishy going on. Looks like an adventurer's work doesn't suit people who just want to earn some quick more. I'll just leave this drum here. Maybe someone will pick it up. That way, I guess I won't totally disappoint Miss Catherine. What's up with the drum? Lap I must see. Uh, this seems to have been left by an adventurer. The sign of a potion. Uh, I was not super sure what this guy is talking about, but he sure is irresponsible leaving a commission finished just because it's hard. But since that's how things are, let's hand this drum over to Catherine and let her reassign someone to complete whatever commission this was. Who will get the job? Uh, okay, so we came all the way here just for that and. Uh, oh. That's the thing? No, it's a bit off to the side. Let's check if I can... Time to go. ...get that as a more point. No, this seems to be much farther than it looked. Time to go. No, I'm not going in the right direction. And, and those domains also sometimes I need to solve a puzzle or something to unlock them. And I'm interested in doing that now. Okay, but also not passing now. Oh, come on. What do I get here? Um, okay. I'll hate them. Uh, and his roommate. Okay, Catherine. Mm. There was another mark, was there? Come on, it's just here. Clear weather all around brightens the heart. Hello, how have your recent travels gone? They've gone quite well, thank you. I've heard um, about your previous adventures, it seems that you've become very experienced. As long as you keep going, I believe that it will only be a matter of time before you become a truly great adventurer. Aren't I a truly great adventurer already? Uh, speaking of adventures, we found this on one of ours. I wouldn't call that just now an adventure. Uh, this was led by some irresponsible adventurer. We thought it would be bad if the commission he took never got resolved. So we brought it back here. So let's run. Uh, indeed, this item is key to a particular commission. Thank you very much. The commission linked to this drum is a very important one from the academia and is also crucial to the expansion of our operations. Unfortunately, though, we have previously given this commission to various talented adventurers, 
they have all invariably failed a commission from the academia. Uh, well, this is an issue that even the academia cannot solve, so we did not expect a relatively high. So we did expect a relatively high failure rate. Actually, Paimon's getting kind of curious now. What sort of commission is this anyway? Simply put, a recent star observation by researchers from the academia led to the discovery of the northern skies that the northern skies have become blocked by strange hereto, heretofore unseen phenomenon. Concerned that this would have a great impact on the aggregacy of any astrological calculations, the academy immediately put people together to investigate. This resulted in them dwelling into ancient records within which they found mention of a strange phenomenon known as the sign of Apollosha which bears strong similarities to the recent occurrence. According to these records, this celestial sign appeared after the disaster that engulfed most of Tivat 500 years ago. Mm. Although the circumstances of its eventual disappearance are unclear, its position has been determined to be near the Temir Mountains and the northernmost regions of the desert. However, that area has only ever been sparsely populated. Even when the ancient desert realms were at their peak, they did not extend that far. And after the cataclysm 500 years ago, that place was one of the areas worst affected by the encroaching abyss, due to it being connected to an ancient underground realm. Since then, it has been declared a restricted zone by the academia. The only people who still live there are a mysterious darshan, known as, by the academia as the Nagar Junites. Junites. Mysterious darshan, you say, the Nagar Junites. If, if even you are calling it mysterious, Catherine, it's gonna be something super mysterious. Though they seem like legends to the average person, they were once a darshan of the academia, albeit uh, one that split off 500 years ago. Then the researchers who wished to fight the monsters from the abyss banded together and traveled to the depths of the desert. And the Nagarjanites are an organization comprised of people who stayed there in the end. That said, it has been many years since, and they have branched off further and further from the academia. They even seem to have developed their own academic notions, traditions. Um, it seems that they also worship a form of energy known as Varana. Varana? I think somebody said this word before, but I don't remember where. This energy communicates with them in the form of spirits. Well, I feel that I'm going off topic now. The academia believes that this faction is strongly related to the celestial sign. However, they have not been able to establish contact with this group and, as such, have commissioned the guild to assist in their investigations. This is a win-win situation for us as well. Ruins related to the Kenya are located nearby, but exploration in that area has been declared taboo by the academia until now. If this commission is a success, perhaps we will be able to participate in future expeditions to those ruins. Since you have, since you have heard me say this much, why don't you take this commission on? You just find so much to step up to the plate, huh? Uh, I guess it's our business now. Well, since Karen is involved, yeah. Apparently, uh, it is following careful analysis that I have found you best suited to this task. After all, your Perny spirit is something rare even among adventurers. So, after all that, it sounds like we just need to look for those whatever rights, right? Sounds like it'd be pretty easy, and we'll get some more from the Academia too. Yes, that drum you picked up was originally given to us by the Academia to be used as a token of good faith 
in your dealings with the Nagarjuna tonight. Just give it to the organization's leader. It stands to reason that they will have some some way to solve this problem. I'm leaving this task in your hands, then I've marked the rough position of the Timur Mountains for you. And as Rabsosk Traveler, may you inscribe a new legend in the desert sites. Very well. The Varina of Good and Evil. Uh, let me check that. Cave. And also, let's mark the, okay, the quest. Yeah, run where I was anyway. Time to go. Go. Oh, come on, seriously. <laughs> oh. Left the area red and make Paimon bring me back instead of making a invisible wall. Okay, I think this will be an area. Like Enconomia or the Chasm. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. That must be the sign of a power shop. Huh? A huge hole with lots of hard stuff is in out. I didn't happen to read the rest. <laughs> oh, that's a new guy. But no, I don't want to open chests and stuff. Time to go. I'll explore on oh my own afterwards. Oh, here. Desert here looks pretty different from what we've seen before. It's strange. Let's see if I can sign your bio. Looks like there's some out there. Oh, there's new stuff there. Time to go. Stone that came from the depths of this late mountain, seeming formed from congelated, congealed elemental energy. And what was the other here? Uh, note. Ah, the lower report is passing down within the lost religious group in the desert. Someone has transcribed it in the script. Oh, I had that already. It moved from the spot of the slain to the call. Oh. I didn't get the now, but I already had. 
Tokenus returns. Where did I get that? Uh, no, maybe that was it. Wasn't like a note or something. Damn. I didn't pay attention to how it looked. But the name wasn't that. Okay, I think that must be it. Then. Okay. Who are you? You guys don't look like Trap's people of desert, more like adventurers from a faraway land. But no matter who you are, this is as far as you will get, please go back. We've been commissioned to come here. We are here to resolve the issue regarding the sign of Apocha. Sign of Apocha? How do you know of this name? We are adventurers who have an organization at our backs. Catherine of the Adventurers Guild told us, of course. Since you know of the sign of Bosha, you must have heard of us. Shamania, the Order of Skeptics, right? No, but I like your name. Uh, the desert past this point is a restricted zone under our guard. As a ranger of the Order of Skeptics, I cannot let you pass, no matter what reason you may have. You know it could have gone away if I wasn't talking to you. Are the skeptics? My apologies, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Piro. Pirho? Pirho, Piro. I think it's Pirho. It's not Pyro. Pyro. No. Pirho, I think. A member of the Order of Skeptics in charge of guarding this place. Order of Skeptics, Pamela remembers that Catherine told us to look for the Nagarjo sites or something. Uh, looks like Pirho isn't the one we're looking for. Nagarjo Knights, Ugh. that's just a derogatory name that those guys from the Rainforest have for us. Isn't that like the old name of their? Darsha, that's a derogatory. Lord Nagarjuna is a hero who fought against the death monster alongside the divine mo bird's hairs. Who is that divine bird? Uh, he gained divine power through the right of Chinvat and put a name to the calamity. So if the guy is important, why is it derogatory to be called based on him? It's like Hylians. How dare they call such a great hero our, in our first V. Nanapati by his given name? Oh. Wait, why am I f telling you outsiders this? Are, are you two spies from the academia? We're here to take care of the problem. We're here because we accepted a commission from the Academia. And that, first of all. Ah, so you are an Academia's henchman. We've tried our best to keep a low profile, but still, we've managed to find our trail. Still, I believe that the Academia was full of cowards who would never dare to step foot into the desert. I won't lie, you've impressed me. Uh, I didn't expect you to have such a strong opinion about academia? Of course, Lord Nazuraya of Vyananapat has said that we wouldn't have been reduced to this state if it weren't from, for them. Wait, so you are here to get our intelligence after all? Oh, I've revealed more than I should. Anyway, please leave. This is, if this conversation continues, as unwilling as I may be to do so, I'll have to end you. What? You're the one who couldn't resist blabbing. Why are you putting the blame on to us? Also, there's no need to be rash, right? Ignus, show Pero the token that Catherine gave us. He'll know what's going on once he sees it. Token. This had better not be some trick. 
Tada! Look, uh, told you weren't lying. Run. What is this shabby drum? You call this a token? Uh, did Catherine mix things up? You guys don't think you can bribe me with such a small thing, do you? Live now, or things will get na nasty. Uh, don't you underestimate, underestimate us skeptics? Spare us. It's too late, it's too bad for mercy. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight you. This is gonna fight. Will I kill him? Well, that is a flash. I don't really know this guy, so we don't have any attachment to him yet. Okay, but I don't think he died. Okay. Seize, seize, say. Uh, Lesorus, why did you. You didn't have to attend to such trivial matters personally, let alone in front of these outsiders. Oh, is that a pyro elemental? We parry our appear before whoever we wish, and our volition is not for you, Mermordus, to question. How dare you overstep our, your bounds? This little thing is about Pamela's size, and the way she talks is kind of funny. Why is Piro calling lady in that reverent tone? Your sins will be judged, but the time for that has just come. The two of you over there, as envoys of the academia, it is only polite to state your names first, no? Uh, yeah, we should have introduced ourselves first, but that high and mighty attitude of yours is... My words and actions are not contrary to tradition and principles of the party. The same cannot be said for your nameless persons. Hmm. Uh, fine, we are not nameless, Paimon is Paimon, in his ignorance. We are adventurers who came here on a commission. I am the one who is an adventurer. We are here to look for the other skeptics. We didn't really know about them before this guy mentioned it. Hey, we are we're adventurers together all the time. I need only know your names. Your other trivialities do not concern me. However, as for that drum, that item has a profound connection with us, Parry. And it's not something that you mortals should possess. Inus, I command you to present it to me immediately. No way. At least sound nicer about it when you are asking someone for a favor. Besides, this item is important to our commission. We're we are here to hand it to the leader of this order of, your, order of yours. If we give it to you and fail to complete the commission because of that, not only might we lose our reward, we might even have to pay more to the Adventurer's Guild. That's a huge loss. Reward more? Do you think that you risk your lives in a place fraud with peril for such frivolous region, reasons? Uh, you know nothing of what transpires here. One mistake will send your race tumbling into an eternal samsara. And yet, you commit deeds that are beyond even our comprehension. You humans are such interesting beings. No matter, I shall bring you to the leader you speak of. This item will remain worth it will remain worth a tribute, even if you should only present it to me after that meeting. That's more like it. Wait, that's still not right. We still have to deal with that huge hole in the sky, and if you don't, huge hole, you refer to the sign of Abosha then, and you wish to quell this calamity with mere mortal coils. Uh, how presumptuous. It is the duty of us, Pari, to eradicate the sign of Abosha. And an endeavor that I, Sorush, shall give my all to accomplish. To call this calamity, I must follow in the footsteps of the divine bird Simur and sacrifice everything that one might call Sorush. Oh, to stand in my way is not a sin that one such as you may bear. Simur. Foolish beings, have not heard of the divine bird Simurg? She is the master of 
Kubarina, uh, who once saved the lane from destruction. Legend has it that it was she who split into infinite modes of Kubarina after sh her sacrifice, thus calling the catastrophe. Now, I'm sure Mapama doesn't think that we'll need to sacrifice herself. In any case, this matter is far beyond your capabilities, and your intervention is futile. All you must do is bear silent witness as I, as I transcend. You shall receive remuneration from this good of yours, so long as the claim is quelled. Will you not? Still, do not forget to extol my virtues and laud my accomplishments. After all, even the greatest heroes shall require mere, mere mortals like you to sing their deeds. The Lady Sarush, the Vinanapati, has instructed us to forbid suspicious individuals from inter interfering before the ritual is completed. I have decided, and as a party, my word is law. Hmm. Alright, follow me. I shall take you to the leader you spoke of. Uh, but gird yourselves all the same. That which lies ahead is not a place that human beings can easily set foot in. If you get lost or end up being eaten by some monster appearing out of nowhere, there shall be nothing I can do for you. Oh, follow Solish. She's so annoying, she's not even on the large. So, so Lady Sorrow speaks for you. I will not be so lenient should you make any suspicious movement. Local sounds are reliable. No, of course, I am one of the oldest qualified members of our order, after all. I am not quite the equal of, of our Vinanapati, but as one of the desert folk who have lived here for generations, the order and I are as one by blood. So, if you encounter any issues, you can ask. No, wait, no. I won't be answering any of your questions. So, what about your Vinanapat? He's a very knowledgeable scholar. He knows more than anyone I've ever met. We skeptics were once a dharma within the academia, but our traditions of knowledge have been eroded after hundreds of years here in the desert, far from the city. It's all thanks to our Vinanapat that we are recovering our ancient traditions. With him around, our order shall soon reclaim our lost glory. Don't worry if she didn't hear questions from me, as it should be. Step probably. Has been opened. You merely need to follow me. Uh, we party regardless. Any body in mind of the lane. Uh, words of grace like no card. Come down now. <laughs> Let me mark here. a fishing spot. Get a monster. Time to go. Don't be scared. Let me scry. Wind strider. Cloud time. The birds come. I will have order. Gather. What do you mean, that? Aren't these just abysmages and hilly troops? To think you would so easily defeat the rampage in death? Your strength is most radiant indeed. Consider me impressed. Though there is still 
part the gap between you and Aspari. The sight of you fighting valiantly reminds me of those humans of legend who once fought alongside us. I have decided then, you shall have the honor of being my Yasnapati. What's that? Yasnapati? Paimon doesn't know what that is, but coming from you, it can be anything good, really. Do you not have such things amongst humans, strategists, scribes, and the like? Aren't those two different things? Those who exist to praise the heroes whose stories the existing are uh, bards. Uh, <laughs> neither of those jobs are what you just described. No matter how great the hero, their great deeds must be recorded and sung of by others. If not, the same fate that befell ancient heroes shall befall them also. Though they may have loved violence and conflict, great deeds are still great deeds and they deserve to be remembered. Alas, those who loved conflict would be consumed by it, and once they had slain each other, they were all lost. And because there were no authors or poets to tell of their deeds, once all who had lived in such times were gone, their works forgotten to the last. I will not be like them. My great work shall shine so gloriously that the world itself will suffer great loss to not know of it. Thus, I shall now give you permission to record those deeds. Rejoice and give thanks, for this is not a grace that few receive from us For this is not a grace that few... That was a question? It didn't sound like a question. This all sounds very complicated, but basically you just need someone to tell how tell you how awesome you are, right? Not interesting, sounds like an alright gig. Can you find a skeptic to help you out there? The skeptics? I may admire the spirit, but other than their leader, whom you mentioned previously, the rest are not fit for such work. They speak all day of how conflict is the true nature of this world, but they have themselves lost the ability to engage in such. Uh, none of them will be able to witness my sacrifice to its end. Whatever the case, it has been decided. Fred not. You shall be free to do as you please once I have sacrificed myself to restore the pure skies. Till then, you shall witness my valiant form. We well, are sure even if Paimon can't see it. Oh, uh, when she was about us, we said, run down to her, thinking about my spam a little deal. Oh, there are new stuff here. Oh. Oh, it's not scary anymore. Okay, I'm not gonna kill this. The path here is now done with great crystals. When I last left it, it was not yet so. Great crystals? You mean the crystals we were seeing everywhere? Paimon's had her eye on them for a while now. What are they? Great crystals are remnants of the Black Fire's embers. Proof that this land has suffered great calamity. The Black Fire calamity. Indeed, I am sure you have heard of the great catastrophe struck long ago, where dark fire rose from beneath the earth and scorched the land. The dark fire opened a bottomless hollow in this land and the demons of death that crawled through the gap nearly turned this into a lightless realm. So the gap was blocked by the great tree, the dark fire's filth is spread like seeds, and the countless dark and painful memories released by the corruption 
to gently lay down roots and sprout. This persisted till the other large Varena and the divine birds Simurg drank the primordial water left behind by our god before transforming herself into Kivarena of all kinds and scattering across the land. What's a Kivarena? From that day on, the Kivarena has taken the divine bird's place in defending this land. And those painful memories that leaked out have been sealed by Kivarena. What was left are these ubiquitous great crystals though they seem no different from any other stone. They may contain objects that are yet to be purified. The great crystals in the area have increased of late. And I suspect that this must have something to do with the sign of a powerful dark power. But if we use Kavarena's mind, we can get rid of these crystals. In my, if my senses do not see me, a wandering Kavarena should be nearby. Let us look around. Okay. Oh. Uh, great crystals left behind by the remnants of corruption. The power of Kavarena to clear them out. But once said power retreats, the great crystals will emerge. Uh. Increase the crystal level of saving. Uh, where are they? Let me speak to you. It's covering a lot of earth. Cultivation grounds of the order of skeptical ages. Okay. Uh, should there be treasure harvest here, war wise? Wind Strider, the hunter becomes the armed Jeremites, a fateful offering. And the yeah, armed from I don't know their loss Darshan And they were behind a thing that was likely unsurpassable by regular mortals. Hmm, you should still dress like the guys from the academia. Oh no, this. Uh, Late Sarush, Kibrana Zenvoy, you have returned. So. It has taken much work on my part. The analysis of documents regarding the right of Shinvat will soon be complete. According to my research, we need only collect all the great songs of Kvarena next, and your great work may then be completed. Wait a moment, you two are? Do not fret, they are Ignus and Paimon, my newly chosen Yasnapat and his companion. They are here to witness my great work. Hey now, Paimon hasn't agreed to that yet. I uh, yes, not you say. Though I will not question your most astute judgment, I fear that allowing ignorant outsiders into this land before the right of Chinvat is, compl is complete may have untoward effects. Know that the people of the Academia surely do not desire the right's completion. Speak no further, I have my reasons for doing this. Well then, take that drum from before out, Ignis and Paimon. 
You bring the drum out as agreed. Uh, Coribantes. That just means drum. A Coribantes, you say. Uh, yes, this is an important catalyst for the ritual needed to forge a Laupa connection between ourselves and the party. I have searched for many years for this, and to think it now comes to me. Uh, this is indeed a good omen for my future plans. Didn't the previous adventure met them and then fled and left the drum behind? It would be good if the fates will also be with me when I lead the Order of Skeptics to throw down the Academia and burn their house of Dean, or whatever they call it, to the ground. Wow, what a way to casually paint yourself as the villain, eh? Villain? Uh, the Academia are the true villains here. Have no doubt about that. Uh, I forgot my introductions. I am uh, Nazayuna, the Vinanapati of the Order of Skeptics. Um, was it? Nazayun is supposed to be an old person from the past. We who cultivate ourselves here. If you would use your the terminology of the academia, I would be the equivalent of a, as a, of a sage. Okay. But I doubt the, those pampered folk would care much for what we at the margins call ourselves. You do not look much like those of the academia, my sand. We're just passing adventures. We did take commission from them, sure. To pass adventures. Fair enough. Though, in truth, it would not matter if it were to be from that dreaded place. Even if the entire car of 30 were to be sent here, my place could not be halted. Well, whatever your plans are, we didn't come here to stop them, that's for sure. And so they would all say, those treasures loud from the academia. I, and when my guard is down, you would stab me in the back. Just like those people in funny masks who try to skulk about and steal our academic totems. Okay, now I think he's talking about the Fatui. Uh, when they dare to attack our, our honored envoy of Gvarena, Lady Sorush. And they, and they met the feet at my hand, each one of them. Very impressive. I'm guessing those are the Fatui. The Fatui, I don't know of what you speak, but they were city folk, so I doubt the academia would be far behind in the shadows. I do not look upon, do not look upon us as some miserable who, few who inhabit the Timur Mountains. We once had such numbers that all the deserts north of Mount Devavant would struggle to hold us. Uh, it is only because of our harsh environment and the slander and ostracism by the academia that we have been reduced to this. If it was not for such sage souls as myself, holding things together in the protection of Cavarena, we skeptics would, would have been reduced to nothing long ago. Sounds like quite a disagreement, yes. Catherine said that you have your differences, but it sure looks to Paimon like you skeptics really hate the academia. Say not hate, but rather that we simply cannot coexist. When I was young, I did go there to learn in an attempt to mend our differences, but they treated me like an outsider when you were young, but I thought this part was was split 500 years ago. Oh, they feign politeness by calling us a branch of the academia. This is not but a means to belittle us. It is said that our predecessors had a clash of ideas with them, 
and so choose to go into the desert to stand against the darkness themselves. From that day on, they, we have been holding firm in the war against the defilement, defending our land, and, and what have those useless losses been doing in the meantime? Compared to those pampered parents, we who combine thought were indeed far better deserved honor for our wisdom. Hmm, Paimon doesn't quite get it. You need only to understand that conflict is the true nature of this world. Kavarana and Impurity, Dari is Dari in the true way. It is this struggles for supremacy that have kept this world alive. Just as surely as this sky does. Those sophists in, in their fancy darshans believe that the fates of all are inscribed in the skies, and that this is the supreme wisdom and truth. But look, the skies reflect the family itself. Surely their truth then is an imperfect thing. Perhaps nothing is really perfect. Uh, uh, you think thus? Then you, we might yet be friends. If time permits, we may discuss this issue in more detail. Uh, Nasuraya, this is not time for time to talk about such things. Have not seen how the great crystals hem us in ever more tightly. If we do not extinguish this sign of Bosha soon, things shall grow most perilous indeed. While well, speaking of the sign... Right, that's right. We were tasked to fix this whole thing. But after all this talking, we still don't know what it's supposed to be. Huh, well, our plans also involve extinguishing that celestial mark. As for what it is, if it must be described as anything, let us call it the water surface. Water surface. Your explanations just make things more confusing. The water's reflection, while an illusion, nonetheless hides the truth within itself. So it is with the skies. It is like a mirage, if you have seen it, those before. Uh, the big hole up there is way spookier than any mirage. We never had a mirage in this game, have we? Well, it should be, for that celestial sign reflects an otherworldly hellscape. Long, long ago, Dari Akaria once built a facility here that connected them to realms beyond. During the great disaster, which they say the Dari started, monsters swarmed from the very facility into the nations of the world. The, the monster store opened a great rift that came to be called the Tonigi Hollow. Is it that tunnel, maybe? And through, and, and though they were sealed away with, with the new vein of the ancient tree, this mysterious sign appeared along that. What the sun reflects is the which lies beyond the rift, the dark rift. And though the monsters cannot enter the vat through that illusion, it nonetheless radiates corrupt energies. They say that our very first Vinanapati extinguished that strange sign together with the party. But as the power of impurity has strengthened over time, this ancient symbol has appeared once more. And should we leave it be, who knows? The hollow may truly re emerge one day, and the ancient war will be reenacted. In truth, it might be interesting to live such exciting times. But no, that wouldn't be interesting at all. It matters not. Simurg drank the um, Amrita left behind by our god, transmuting herself into a limitless Kivarena. As the heirs to the divine bird, solving this problem is the mission of the Wipari have. 
I saw Rush. We will surely live behind and work great enough to be her equal. Of course, of course. Kevorin has envoy. And we of the Order of Skeptics shall sure, surely help you see your duty through. Uh, what's with all this talk about sacrifice? Is that really necessary to solve the problem? Well, in truth, I do not know. All documents regarding the sign of Apoosha have been long lost, have long been lost, and the traditions and rites surrounding it have also ceased to be passed down. If it had not been for constantly looking up what documents were left, there might not have been any more left to know that the rite of Shinpat existed at all. According to my research, the Pari are the descendants of Simuri and should therefore also have the power to transform into Kvarena to provide the land. And would you not say that a great sacrifice to have the world on the part of the Divine Birds heard very much suits our order style? I don't know. What? That's so haphazard. The sacrifice you're talking about doesn't sound like small thing either. Why aren't we thinking about a way to solve this issue? But I'm sure there's gotta be some alternative, right, Ignis? It's always been this way, hasn't it? No, plenty of people have died in the way. I am very good at my job, after all. <laughs> I already said that you need not interfere. Simply witnessing my sacrifice shall suffice. Uh, it is something worth celebrating that we party should sacrifice our lives to purify the earth. Well, you say that, but I would ask that you keep a respectful distance from that which you do not comprehend, outsiders. But since this is the case, well, I was planning to investigate the Tanik Hollow to make preparations for the right of Chimbat anyway. Why don't you come along? I trust that you also wish to see the scars left behind by a fissure that once led beyond our world's bounds. Sure, that sounds interesting. When you see this, I believe you shall understand. Well, I'm was kind of curious. A sound plan. In any case, I shall lead the way. After all, you would find it impossible to freely traverse the land where Kvorenda battles against impurity. My Yasnapat, follow me to the end. Watch me complete my mission. There's just too much talk with no... Uh, dubs. Uh, Pari are very mysterious creatures, and as the bloom guard of the race, some Sorosh can replace her characters to fly and move. When Sorosh is in flight, her character will stay in place to await her return. Oh, so I can traverse the lane like that. While well, in flight, Sarush can ascend or descend and can use the accelerate skill to increase her flight speed. Sarush cannot be too far from your character, though. The Blue Guard should not have been on others, after all. Uh, Sarush. What's that? Sarush can call upon the special energies within the items around which mysterious Mayfly stands. First, Rush's indirect skill to allow her to use her power to guide the mighty, the might of Kvarena. Hold her indirect skill to cause her to stop and continuously channel Kvarena's mind. During this time, you can control you can control character freely. As a Paris, Rush can also perceive some things beyond normal human sight. Wherever in this <laughs> the world I, roam, I carry memories of my place. home. My this place. This is the last link I have to the land, you have to to the land of my birth. You are, after all, uh, as foolish as a specter. Objection, objection. I was not going to take that come for someone. Okay, so let's get rid of my genie. It's kind of bad anyway. Restore some power. Uh, 
I didn't even click share anymore. Okay, it's not there anymore. Okay. Has okay, interesting. Okay, I don't think the interaction is here. of purifying light, those purifying lights are the fragments left behind by entities of Varena who have used up all their strength. Only party such as so Rush can retrieve them. Some plumes will flee when Sarush approaches. She must simply give chase to them. Oh exploration stuff the map oh I didn't even realize there was another one in Yukitos Baptist And that be connected to just... no, I don't think that'll be connected to just fountain. Is that deep pit that the Nigi Hollow we were talking about earlier? Mm. There are super huge crystals all over the place, even bigger than the ones we saw before. They look scarier too. These were once huge trees used to seal and subdue the creatures of the dark depths. Uh, the power of the, the of the fireman has corrupted them, warping them into such forms as you see now. Since the monsters have been sealed, it sure doesn't look like anyone needs to surprise themselves again. 
That is why we must use the power of Verena to reopen the way. Hey, wouldn't they just release the monsters again? They took so much effort to seal too. No, no, I mean that we must open the path to the sign of Apollosha. The way to the rift in the earth was still long ago. It can never lead to the true darkness again. But that is exactly why the seal rift does indeed connect to the illusion of the abyss. We need only use the great songs of Varena to stabilize the seal before initiating the rite of Chimbat to pass through the darkness and reach the sign. The great song of Varena. They are the mightiest manifestation of the Kavarina scattered throughout the world. We can use the great songs to initiate the rite of Chimbat. After that, we can open the uh, we can open a path to all the darkness. Just as legend holds that the first Vinana Pach Nagaryuna. Okay, yeah, okay. I have got the names mixed up. Nagaryuna and the party deed. That's all well and good, but what will we do once we reach? the sign that the sign is on. I do not know what happens after that. I have encountered legends that are first Vinana Pash Nagaryuna uh, was lifted up to the heavens where he used divine power to extinguish the sign. But that I feel is my myth. I believe the Kivarina's envoys will have some way since they can purify the defining impurities they must also have some way of to extinguish the sign yeah. did Sarush not also say that she wishes to imitate the sacrifice of Simur? the world is built upon conflict and sacrifice after all <coughs> well that's what Sarush says sure but that's as which is possible of you. Oh, don't fret. Before the necessity of any sacrifice can be ascertained, we must still bring the great songs of Kovarena together. At the moment, we have yet to take even the first step forward. Um, says the guy who's just been talking this whole time. Well, basically, only the party who has been chosen as a bloom guard can touch the great songs. But our current envoy, Lady Sarush, has yet to obtain that right. That's so? How the bluster really earned all that, huh, Sarush? You dare speak to me like that, pale floater. Well, Pamel isn't a pale floater. Only by obtaining the twin horned chaplet. May she become the Bloom Guard. Uh, being able to gather the power of Varena, as such, she must first be acknowledged by Lady Zervan, the first party. She is a mighty party who once fought alongside our ancestors. It is even said that she was the very party who fought alongside the ancient heroes to subdue the embers of the abyss. But the Elder of ours is utterly unreasonable. She refuses to acknowledge my dearest desire. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do about that. Still, even without the twin horn chaplet, my sacrifice will suffice to accomplish this deed. Of course, I do not intend to doubt your desire to sacrifice yourself this way, but if you are unable to perform the rite and pass through the dark hollow, your wish will not be fulfilled no less. However, I do not. I do have a suggestion. Lady Sarush called you her Yasnapat, did she not? Why don't you go with her to the Volukasha Oasis? That is where Lady Zervan may be found. Perhaps Lady Zervan may yet change her mind should she see that we humans view Lady Sarush as the 
for dancing a boy. And why aren't, aren't you going? Well, I am her. Yes, no party after all. Well, we got a commission to complete. Or why aren't you going? Well, as for me, she would certainly look down on a bookish man like me, considering her many years of experience. If she looked upon me, I doubt she would even change her mind again. She ever changed her mind again. This is the only method we have at, the, at present to change our current situation. So please, do go with Lady Sarush to the sacred place protected by the Corrida. Uh, aren't you a sneaky one? Looks like you're the only person constantly out of a job. Of course not. There's much I must do. For example, the preparations for the Rite of Shinbat still must be done. I must also consult the words of the ancient scribes once more to ascertain the location of the great songs. As for the corridor you brought, I believe I may now form a connection with the party who sleep at present once more. Their awakening is necessary for the right of Chimpas to occur. Regardless, I leave the matter of the Twin Horn Chaplet to you too. Once everything is complete, let us meet at the campsite upon the Tamir Mountains. Oh well, so we have to look for that party elder, right? Well, let's hope she isn't as nasty as Sorush is. Then shall leave the matter of the do. I believe all the people, no matter who they are, will submit to you, and I was also blur. When we have each done all we must, let us meet at the campsite upon the Timber Mountains. Fruits are born by special plants that have been nourished by the milk, Amrita. And their juices contain that same mysterious power, press the roots in direct skill, cause for carbs in the fruit, and gain the ability to throw them, using their power to stand against the impurities. Uh, as they contain Amrita, the Neroda fruits juice can also melt through special crystals created from solidified Amrita. Okay, I was going to do that. Stabilize. I mean, Pombos. Oh. Brings a smile to my face. Yeah, no, 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 Another thing. Whoa. I have to release them and find them. Uh, Monster from the great crystals. Some strangely shaped great crystals may also contain unperfect rip. Once if when the crystals display due to the effects of Covarena, the, the monsters from my own era may reawaken. Oh. Wasn't there oh, it's over there? What happens if I jump there? 
Of course, there's time to go. Dental quarters over there. Hey, boss, can I creep you from out? Uh, creeping for the phone, not dragging me down on you, why not? Better for pictures, uh, what do you mean? Famous life, I'm dragging down. There's no point doing that. Time to go. Do I need you? Says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering. What about those? Uh, Virgin spirits. These three vines have ensnared the scattered Varena. So Rush can use her power to extract this energy and channel it into the vines. Some of her vines have been affected by great crystals and require additional Varena energy. For the snare to be loosened. It's a sandworm. Follow the wind. So here looks like could this be one of those venom that we've seen before? How did it get trapped here? Mm, so call these children of an ancient dragon the venoms. Mm, children of an ancient dragon. Still, it does not have a simple form. Perhaps it was merely unlucky to have been caught in the crossfire and sealed here. Well, maybe it's a good thing it's being sealed here. If not, it might just pop out of the ground and swallow us all in one go. I'll protect you, Paimo. I don't think it'd be very good to eat, Paimo. Even though she's emergency food. Uh, <laughs> I was not sure how to feel about that. 
you two certainly look like you get on well. Of course, we're the best of buddies. But it is... Is it not also said that even constant companions will fail to notice if the other was spirit away by a sprite? These stories are quite common too, yes? What are you talking about? You should never do that. I merely jest. If you were boss on buddies, surely some idle jokes would not move you. Uh, we shall soon reach the Voros. Kasha Oasis. Come, let us hurry. I thought that was it. Oh yeah, but it is an oasis. Time to go. <laughs> Solidify. Time to go. I will say the punish is using out of the move yet. The last is stumped on their chill. The nurse is coming from a whole scene. Pound doesn't know what's far. Let's go over here. Look. Oh, it was like I was up there looking down here. Time to go. What? Um, Soul Bell. The Soul Bell is an ancient artifact of the Order of the Skeptics, which they made together. Uh, which they made together with the party for use in the trials meant to choose human heroes. It used Kuberena in its manufacture and thus can be engraved with past memories. Damn, why is my screen shiny? Time to go! Think there'd be such a huge patch of green in, on the other end of the mountain. You were just in the desert, too. How strange. Impressive, is it not? It is our homeland, after all. Uh, the homeland of the party, so there'll be lots of people like you here, right? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm not, but I'm also not so keen on going. You should not be excited beyond words. And the big tree stump over there looks like it's holding off the stuff oozing out of the big hole. Uh, that is the Harvish Harvis Tokum, the sacred form of the god that has granted us party life. Uh, it's not just some large stump. That's a god? Well, we've seen other gods, but this is the first time we've seen one looking like that. 
That is because our God cannot be considered alive. 500 years ago, our great God gave all to quell the power of the disaster afflicting this place. But she was stained with corruption and could not be reborn in a purer plane. Thus, her divine consciousness continues to wander the mortal one. Our great God left us with the sanctified Amrita, and the Lord of Verdure calls the Har Harvis Pitokum to grow from that, thus anchoring our God to this realm. The Volukasha oasis has been nourished by the Amrita and even the Karina that defends this earth gains it, its unnamed power by grace of the Amrita. But this god of yours doesn't look too well. She's been trying to hold out against the stuff coming out of the hole this entire time. Her power maintains the seal over the dark hollow. I fear that the emergence of the sign is due to the attraction of that evil power. If we were not for if we're not for the present day with that, the defilement surging forth from that hollow would have been infected would have infected the entire world. But it is also due to perform this duty that the tree has deteriorated so much. I do not believe that I could ever bear to re be reduced to such state. That is why I, I must have a legacy of heroism behind for all to remember before it does happen. Well, never mind that first. Let's go look for this Zerfon person, shall we? If we get the chaplet and fix the sky real quick, that might make your God feel all better too. I didn't quite get what, what, that's holding that, but which one is the mirage? That's the hollow, so that's where things are coming from. But the tree is shooting at the mirage, and then it reflects there. I... Wasn't I paying attention, or is it confusing like that? There are piggies here. <laughs> Time to go. Gonna have seen others. Or I'm not sure see the other because we get out of here. Are you getting nervous? Are you sorry? Impossible. I don't know second second guys me previously. Expect it to be larger. I thought this one with me was kind of a child. Uh, it looks a bit more like a Pokemon. Uh, well, if it is this Rush, such rare guests. It has been a while, Elder Servant. Elder. 
Well, if you call me that, then you should follow paranorms and cease consorting with those humans whose hearts are heavy with their ulterior motives. I haven't gone against our norms. I have only made contact with humanity to find a way to extinguish the sky fire, just as the divine bird did. Uh, and is that why you have learned all the claptrap about sacrifice from the humans? We party care nothing for such foolishness. It is in our duty as party to sacrifice ourselves in a battle against the defining impurity. Away the call of destinies for which only humans were seen blindly. This destiny you speak of is a nebulous thing. I cannot seem to be expected to sit and wait for it. And that is precisely the danger. The chaplet you seek contains the highest authority over Caverna. In giving it to you, I might. I may as well be handing the power of Caverna over those untrustworthy humans. You can't you have a more more faith in me, Elder? Oh, you too. Looks like we've been left out here, aren't we? Also, it seems like Sorush lose the cocky attitude of hers in front of Zervan. She's probably just fond of weird roleplay. Perhaps she has other hidden facets to her person. That's a scary thought. Well then, little ones, you came with Sorush, yes? This is not a place that ordinary humans may visit likely. Let me see. Well, you certainly aren't from the order of skeptics. You seem to be outlanders, in fact. Well, in matters of courtesy, I suppose you two shall introduce yourselves first. I don't ask humans for their names often, you know. Paimon is Paimon, in his news. Is Paimon human? We are adventurers who shuttle across the god. I am Sorush's Yasnapat. Her Yasnapat? How interesting. She might have had a little misunderstanding somewhere, though. Uh, this is the forbidden land of the Pari, the paradise nourished by uh, Arita, the shrine at which we pay reverence to our great god. Only heroes who have forged bonds with Pari and pilgrims or have come to gen Genflect before God may enter. I shall take it that you are source companions then. He, he, it has been several hundred years since humans last visited our sea of flowers. That said, aren't there a ton of skeptics living outside in the desert? Don't they know how to enter this place? Huh. I shall not permit such discourteous folk to enter our hidden heaven. In the past, we probably did indeed fight alongside our ancestors. We even lived here together. But many years have passed, and folly has grown strong amongst them. Even the traditional rites have become utterly forgotten. None living amongst them now can forge a laupa with a power. They should have been the ones who, to conduct the rite of absorb for the tree that sur suppressed the dark hollow, thus cleansing it of the filth that stained it. Yes, the deterioration of the tree cannot be avoided, but if they had not neglected the rite and caused the seal to weaken, this terrifying sign would never have reappeared so soon. But humans' tradition is unreliable in this fashion. Compared to them, you outlanders, blank slates as you are, certainly seem more dependable. Uh, I was not sure if you're actually praising us or not, but we're here to... I would guess that you are here about the sign in the sky. I doubt that anyone will notice our little nook if not for this great crisis. Uh, well, we were commissioned to deal with this large hole, yes? Oh my, oh my, so it is as I guessed. It seems that even after so long, this short-lived race is as short-sighted as ever. Still, if it were not for 
if we're not that way, would you even need a spirit to act on your behalf? Uh, looks like the parent just pretty nasty as a whole. Regardless, since human heroes have again graced our secret garden, it seems the gears of destiny have begun to turn once more. And you seem to be interested in human being too. Uh, it, that takes me back. Once upon a time, I too travel alongside humans, as curious as you to quell the calamity. Perhaps you really might equal their great deeds. Well then, it's decided. I shall give you a chance. The two of you certainly seem more trustworthy than those blind and foolish skeptics. Elder, shouldn't you put a trust in me instead? Well, as for that, you do know where Rashno and Mihir are, right? Who will bring them here? They should still be enjoying their beauty sleep right now. This will serve as proof of our trustworthiness and of your trustworthiness. And I will be able to give the chapter to you. Oh, Pelo knows. So this is the kind of seal that everyone needs to get together to break. And then we can get the chaplet, right? Uh, such impoverished imagination. The chaplet can be given to you any time, but to solve the issue of the sign of Paosha, we will need their strength. So Rush alone will not be able to open the path through the Dark Hollow, not even with the chaplet. This, perhaps, is another example of the rule of three. Pelo doesn't really know what you're saying, but as long as we can get the chaplet, it's fine. Indeed, English Paimon do help Soru shout, alright? I don't need help. Huh, you are not very honest, Sorush. But since your elder said so, I guess you're just gonna have to listen. Jokes. Uh, let's go look for the person who's gonna test your member. Rush to me here. Uh, last time we conveyed as many years ago now. I don't know if they're still as they were before. Time to go. Oh, there's another one. Pantry. Hello there. Are you the Atlander Offer they spoke of? The Atlander Offer. Yes, I have heard of a valiant human who is bonded with a party. It has been centuries since this last, this land last witnessed something so wondrous. We parry used to walk among, used to walk with humans. We would both build our homes in the Vorus Kasha oasis. Despite the threat of the darkness, its corrosion never once stained the oasis, thanks to the protection of the Va Harvis Token and Kavarena. So centuries have passed, those years remain my most cherished memories. Sorry, but who are you? I'm in charge of looking after the Amrita pool. I have not set foot outside this place since Lady Zervan sealed the oasis. The Amrita pool? The Amrita pool is where we party regretted life. It is in it flows the primordial water left behind by our god. It's all thanks to the Amrita that countless modes of Varena have gained power in life. We will turn into plumes of purifying light after exhausting our strength, leaving behind nothing but pure memories. 
a memories that belong to the Camarino will return to the Harvish pot token through the Enrita pool. The Rita is all that is needed to wash away the deepest sadness and sorrow. With its nourishment, one shall regain their perceived form as the Kavarin is familiar. And the offerer is the one who will help those familiars of Kavarina return to the Sea of Flowers. Whatever since human warriors ceased performing that duty, Pari, who have drained their strength while resisting, the defilement have not been able to return to the Sea of Flowers. Fortunately, now that we've been visited by a human warrior once again, the scattered plumes of purifying light shall return to this place eventually. The Amrita pool will accept all our members so long as an offering is made, and the waters in the tree will bless some blessings upon you. This is also mercy of the divine. Nice. Uh, Voru Kasha Oasis, with the pool. Uh, plums for a light, increase the sky. Okay, I got them. For plums for a kind light, increase the level. We just completed the tree in Vanarana, and now there's that. We will obtain temple, well, the revelation from the moon, the more location of the remaining plums. Uh. Cool. Interesting. Um, but I can check the rewards here. Okay. What was I supposed to come here? In here? In Russian. Okay. I thought I was supposed to come here. What's any point in here? Oh, there's a tree there. Are you sure we're going the right way, Sarush? Stop making such disgraceful noises. Would I lead you wrong? Uh, Black Floater, you could stand to learn from your Yasnapati and his unflinching calm. To be honest, I'm so wonder if it's on the inside. It's just a floor of purple mist. But don't you find it pretty suspicious already? I no can tell how dangerous it is just by looking. Such trivial trials. They pay in comparison to the sacrifice that I must offer up later. Uh, I misspeak. You, play Floater, are not as bold as my Yasnapat, but perhaps one may consider retreating at the slightest sign of danger a wise choice. Right, that's right. He was in charge of being brave, while Pine was in charge of being smart. That's why we make the best buddies, after all. Nice going, buddy. Right? Paimon thinks that was a good re rejoinder, too. But I did not give you your title for naught, yes, not bad. You do not... Do give praise unto my bravery more, pray. Uh, well, it is no Paimon longer. When he's not being yours, yes, not bad, there's nothing wrong with him spending some time to praise Paimon. Anyway, don't sweat over small stuff, Sorush. You're not really doing anything that especially is praising right now, are you? My great work is not for the present, but for the future. Still, at this very moment, you are being given the privilege to witness where it all begins. Well, if you say so, speaking of which, we're here to find me here, the foolish familiar of thorns. She must be suffering right now. Wait, is she trapped in here? Then we gotta go save her. 
The power of the purple mist beneath us sh shares a source with the demons of death. Mihir's task should have been to keep such wicked powers from running rampant upon this earth. Under the sign of a potion, the powers of the two forces warring here ebb to flow and flow. We parish should be dauntless, willing to fight till we ourselves are torn to shreds. But me here, huh? I shouldn't, I shouldn't wonder if she searches for some way to protect herself, even now, conduct some loathsome struggle. Wait, aren't you allies? Are you really gonna lead the, a fellow party to her fate like that? Go hearted little party. You wouldn't be unable to rescue your comrade by any chance, would you? The Anara all help each other out. Anara, that's right. They're like a big family, always protecting one another, so you party aren't like that, huh? The Anara? <laughs> what a carefree breed. Uh, it is not difficult to matter saving me here. Perhaps I might even call it trivial. But we party each have our mission, and we also have different ideals. She must have found some position equal in seclusion and defensibility, before using our great gaze to seal both the demon and herself in. If she could still move freely, ah, she would have been the Caverna. Like the Caverna, begging for aid and prostrating herself before all to and sundry to earn pity. King of Rena even prostrate themselves. Uh, maybe if they try hard enough? You plebeians miss the point. Uh, all the same, the state of this place tells me that she shall not hold out long by herself. How pitiful. Uh, what a horrible sight to be as me here is, corroded by filth falling from a spotless to a sinful state, yet desperate to preserve herself. Had the elder not been me come? Uh, so, after all, all that, you do care. Hardly. I merely wish to see if the useless fool has any regrets or not. If she turns back to us except our age, then perhaps I shall spare her a moment or two. After all, the flower, the star of the songs of praise, shall seem less radiant if the green leaves are not there to serve as it foil. its foil. The following labor shall be little, but it is still a radiant shard. Yes, the path mine, record it down with a uh, reverent heart, and use even this mold of shattered light to grace your mind behind him. Uh, we can talk about the less important stuff later, so let's figure out how to disperse that purple mist first. Less important, you say? Uh, well, so be it. Me her sinful form renders her unable to fulfill her duty, but the throne remains. Uh, so long as I lend them some of my strength, I shall only take a brief moment to scatter this purple smoke. As for the downward path, let us follow the wandering covering we just saw. Well, I'm so, so sure, let's try getting closer then. Alright, if you feel uncomfortable, then hold your breath. Well, Pemo isn't all the good at doing that herself, so you better make a quick search. Underestimate me not, you floater. Hang on, there is that. Time to go. Oh, oh. purple mist in the swamp. A Sipa Travana swamp is the perennial target of corruptive forces and is affected by a dangerous purple mist. Sarush can use her power to awaken the power of Caverina that flows within the turning branches. We, after using this power to disperse the purple mist, the manifestation of the defilement within will make itself known. The defilement 
the defile entities that lie concealed within the bog are the source of the purple mist. Only by destroying them can the mist be parted. Normal attacks do not work against them. And only the part in the road of fruits can completely purify them. Okay. So I gotta use Oh, there. I thought it was an absolute fish trap. Maybe. And it should get closer. One more. Nothing was left, the strong salad was so before should be having break gauge. This one down, this one the cleaner. Okay. Seeming here should be just ahead. What does Felix Rush can I'm happy? This me here is she stuck? Seems like the purple mist has already made it all the way down here. What do we know now, Sarush? Can we just do what we did earlier? 
you know, give some of your power to the Tarnus and free her. Well, I, of course, I shall save her, after all. She does seem to be so very piteous, infested with corruption and all helpless as she is. Uh, this isn't the best time to throw shit on her. Exactly, we've got to save her, and quick. Yet, I have not heard her repaint. I shall hear her reputation on her odors and her supplication for my aid. Oh, come on, are you serious? We don't have time for that kind of talk. Uh, Pamo thought you were just speaking in anger. Oh, valiant Dauntless Sarouche, we implore thee. Lovely invisible Lady Sarouche, shall we... Shall you not hear my counsel? Are you sure that's gonna work? Well then, if you two say so, my yes, not bad. After all, fulfilling your wishes once in a while is indeed with him the perfume of one so exalted as I. And seriously, five more wishes is this to her too, Sarouche. It's the power, the news. Oh, I think press Z. Oh. So all these damages fight them. Yeah! Time to go. Yeah! Fallen leaves. Adorn my Go get it, you away! This is order. Hmm. What's up? Awesome. Are you alright in here? Well, I suppose she's alive, barely, and covered in sin and weakened to the extent that she may only defend herself. Uh, all thanks to you, Red Lady Sorush. Good thing we arrived earlier and had you with us, Sorush. Sorush, Sorush, Sorush who took humans for companion. Sorush who lost her way. Uh, sounds like there's some secret meaning behind her words. Uh, do not get near her, lest the defilement the that emanates from her touches you. It seems that she has not only forgone the heart of gratitude, but has lost much of her intellect, or she will not use such baseless words to reproach me. Thanks, Sarush. If not for you and your companions, I will have needed much time to gather my strength. Uh, and even then, I am unsure if I could have stood against the rising field on my own. The sign of Apoosha could have... Uh, could be seen all too clearly, even from the bottom of the valley, but thorns can only crawl upon the ground, never to reach the sky, not even the reflection of the skies on the earth. Uh, of course, after all, I am the one who is destined to make the sacrifices and extinguish the sign. And I must add that he is no companion of mine, nor is Paimon. He is my Yasnapat. A willing instrument recording my great work. Uh, so, Rush is number one. <laughs> As the fact, that's me. I would call that description a few degrees of, real of reality. Yeah, that's right, we're companions, aren't we? Uh, just save me here. Isn't enough to complete what Servant asked us to do, right? I see. So. You have something to request of me, Sarush. Well, have you since snarled into tumbleweed during your imprisonment and you parted the Timber Mountain into the nameless dunes? It is by my magnanimity and not remembering past lights that my Yasnapat has been given leave to record your name within the hymn of this sings my praise. 
Your sinful form staying with defilement should never otherwise have appeared within those stanzas. Uh, you should thank me, Mihir, if it was not for our elder, uh, whatever. We do this to obtain the twin horn chaplet. For that reason, we must return. You must return with me to the Vorkasha Oasis. Speaking of which, Sorush, you keep talking about staying with the final meaning this in simple form that. What do you even mean? It is the duty of us familiars to, of the thorn to prevent the famine from spreading across the earth and guard against its corrosion. But when we battle against the demons of death, injury is not unavoidable. And if you have been shattered in battle with them, that might have been worth a song. But staying as you are, you can hardly be counted as one of us. It is, you know, if it were not for my coming to your rescue, you would likely have continued some pathetic struggle here till the world forgot you, and you utterly faded away. And those are the words of the human who has befriended you, Sarush. He is no ordinary human, he is the Nazuraya of the Order of Skeptics. Ah, so that's how it is. Sounds like a matter of the pride. That's right. Calling someone simple because of that, me here, you poor thing. Uh, to do one's duty is not a pitiable act, nor is it struggling to perform that duty for a while longer shameful. Uh, I never mind the matter of our elder. I have not fallen so low as to require your judgment. Rather, it is you who should thank me for rescuing you. Oh, come on, Surush, stop yelling at an injured person. Well, Mihir was wounded in combat, so that counts, right? It is alright, Surush will understand, or she will never obtain the Twin Horn Chaplet from Zervan. But as she says, my sinful form is unacceptable in the eyes of other party. I cannot return to the Vorukash always in the state. Mary perform a cleansing pilgrimage, and it will be well. Cleansing pilgrimage? Will that take a long time? Will it be dangerous? We need not be so concerned with the details of Mihir's deeds. After all, there shall be little room for her in the praises that shall be sent of me. She knows this world well, but in her weak and helpless state, where were she to be attacked along the way, I doubt there will be anything left of her. Oh, I was hearing that things will be fine as long as we support her. Don't worry, we are very experienced in doing this sort of thing. Speaking of that, we did me here, help me here earlier, so much. Just like a little power into thorns, you could have done even without help, right? This is my duty, not hers. Uh, we should help each other in times like that. No mission, just like crazy information, but some things test ourselves. Mission do this have some blue Yeah, cannot allow others. I don't It's kinda of hard to follow an unskippable yeah, text. Yeah. Oh Wind Strike! Right! Oh. Don't be scared! Written in the stars! Why calling people? That hurts! Clouds high, the birds come. I will have order. As a form of governance gathered upon the earth for weeks, contain that same power that will stick to your character once picked up and affect nearby gray crystals. You can also put it for a week down where you need to unleash its power. 
Yeah, but it'll probably return. We're finding out of that. We can already see the Harpy's Pitokum. Uh, and we can also see the center of a potion. We won't be able to relax till we manage to fix the prizes above us. That's true, but let's prioritize Karimi here on her cleansing pilgrimage so she can regain her spotless form and return to her companion's side. But isn't it awful that she's been fighting all this time, but now that she's injured, she can't even go back? One who clings to life and self-protection despite being filled with such filth is unworthy of uh, Yasnapat's product. What are you saying, Sorush? He has been fighting all by herself to fulfill her mission all this time. She's been very brave. We should remember what she's done and praise her for it. Only humans require such things as courage. We probably have no need for of it. So Rush speaks the truth. We probably have known our purpose since birth, and we only live to serve that purpose. We do not require remembrance. Perhaps being forgotten might even be for the best. Uh, but. The day comes when none mention us again, and surely the entire earth must be, have been purged of all calamity. There will be no more sacrifices to be sung off, for there will be no more suffering to be remembered. I believe that that shall be a wonderful day. In here. The day is yet distant. Not before I make the sacrifice that shall extinguish the sign of Apollosha, at least. Let's not waste daylight here. We should complete the cleansing pilgrimage as soon as possible. We should not allow this preamble to delay us so. I am the protagonist of this hymn. I alone. Thank you for walking this difficult path with me. I believe that the road shall be far smoother ahead. Would you like us to continue on together? Let's go together. That is also fine by me. We send this army here back to the world of choices. Okay. Oh, uh, we're back. I guess your crazy pilgrimage is done. I'm here. And that means your defilement issues have been solved, right? I have indeed completed the cleansing pilgrimage, but I, it couldn't have been done without your aid. The wind and waters here are good and wondrous energy cycle here. For now, there is no need to worry about the defilement. Yeah, this place sure is better than the valley full of purple mist. It's definitely got that so fine feeling to it. You're fine, indeed. <laughs> that was easier than by my thought. Now that Mihir is clear of this department, other party aren't gonna reject her anymore, right? You can finally take a rest after all the trouble you went through Mihir. And Sorush is now closer to obtaining the chaplet as well. That's right, everyone wins. A fitting end for Mihir, perhaps, but not for me. My ending will not be something so ordinary or peaceful, or as insignificant as you are, Pale Floater. Paimon isn't insignificant. Well, not that Paimon's very heavy or anything either. My end shall be glorious, radiant, like that of a divine bird smirk. I shall split into infinite modes of Gorena, cleansing the world of its impurity. That which me here has done cannot be compared to what I shall be yet accomplish. Yet, there was only one smirk, and there is only one Sarush. There is no need to imitate others. 
uh, there has to be a way that doesn't involve sacrifice. I don't think so too. You don't have to be in such a hurry to sacrifice yourself. We can think of something else together. You speak but empty words, born of your widowsness. My mind is made up, my heart is set, I will not be moved. Paimon doesn't get through at all. Why does she insist on sacrificing herself to deal with the sign? And why is she so cold to me here? Well, the way things look right now, me here is the one that did to her name. Uh, because her work's not yet complete. That's true. We don't know if we'll be able to obtain a twin horn chocolate yet. There are many things in the center of potion. So she's worried that she's been falling behind me here. I say she's pretty anxious about that. Um uh, kinda of gets it now. So Rush is worried that if he praise me here, we won't do the same for her afterwards. So she wants to do something even greater. Oh come on, isn't she just afraid that me here will steal her Yasnapat? She doesn't need to worry about that. We're born flatterers, aren't we? Uh, let me one thing. Let's put four lines of praise for Sarush in the hymn or whatever she's always going on about. And two for me here. The way everyone wins. Okay, now the other one. Oh. I think I'm gonna go through here then climb all the way there. Time to go. Time to go. Drones were created by the Order of the Skeptic's Ancestors, hid them according to a specific method to cause the elemental power within to resound. There are three ways of hitting these drums. Thermal attacks will create a light sound, while plunge attacks will create have one. Stay still to create a pause. There are often drums scores near quarry drums. The spores are comprised of various leaves that are split in three categories categories empty half and full which correspond to pause light and half beats uh, read the scores from the left from left to right and top to bottom after your performance begins each glimmer of a quarry drum represents one beat follow the scores and be to create the corresponding drum beat to complete your performance Solidify! You're great! Shut up! Shut up! 
As one with wind and cloud. Wind strider. Don't be scared. Fate is upon you. This is order. A fateful offering. I was wondering how I'll go with a plunging attack. Mushness there, but let us draw mirror if you return to Mushness to the yeah. Oh, there's a person. Ah, it's that guy. Ah, it's you, Nazayun. Uh, what are you doing here? Ah, oh, honor of of Kavarena and you too. Uh, our Yasnapati and his companion, I suppose. Uh, just cause a Yasnapati and Paimon. Since I have been given such permission, then allow me to call you by those names. Do you, did you remember that uh, what I mentioned earlier about how we skeptics have always been searching for the corridor drums? Um, it was about them being important items for some rituals or something, yes? Yeah, while I can see that the proper term were not terms were not remembered, that is the essence of the matter, yes. The two of you have been acknowledged by Caverna's envoy, and yet you know little of our glorious history. I fear that you may be led astray by heresies and heterodoxies from the forest. Allow me then to explain the true history of Barson and the quarry drones. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not so concerned with this. Is there time, is it? Joy. This is not idle yarn or to be told after tea. It is the tale of our meeting with the party, the science of the divine birds, and the long years of war we have endured here in this land thereafter. Uh, Pam would prefer Iron <laughs> Yarns in that case. Uh, as long ago, our predecessors worked to quell the disaster that occurred in this land and formed a profound friendship with the party. Marsom's familiar had a preference for music, so we crafted party drums for her. During the ceremony, where our bones with the party were made official, five drums have been gathered and placed in play according to scores. Hmm. Where's the drum there? Hmm. So the card drums are long lost. The drum scores have withstood the corrosion of the sandstorms. As you can see, they have almost perfectly they have been almost perfectly preserved. Words shall never describe the true magnificence of that occasion. When the chord drums sounded, all things reverb reverberated in unison. It felt as if their sound could freely traverse space and time. Those who witnessed the, it were all shaken to the core, 
even elements themselves were stirred. Sounds like a very lively time. I'm getting a headache just thinking about it. Lively time. It is a shame that we skeptics fail to pass our legacy, resulting in the loss of the of all the corridors. And however loudly we cried out, Barça's familiar would never again utter a word in response. Barça's familiar? Is this the Russian Sorush mentioned before? Is that who you were talking about? But why wouldn't she respond to the other skeptics call? The party of the order and skeps both value tradition and ceremony. And so there is routine in our actions. They talk about tradition, but then they lost their drums. This is a this is hardly a peaceful land. That such things will happen is little surprise. Mm -hmm, okay. Seems like getting rushed back to the Voro Kasha Oasis with us won't be easy. That is so, we will need to collect all the chord drums and play them according to the score. Thankfully, I have never once given up searching for the lost drums. I have been gathering the relevant clues even before you arrive. As one might have expected of you, Lord Nazraya. Uh, there is no need to flatter me. After all, if Arya Deva had not... My apologies. Our first one elder amongst the Order of Skeps who left for Summer City to work on his light novels, The Dreaded Things. Uh, this heavy responsibility would not have fallen to me otherwise. He became a light, light novelist. He rambled on and on about how worry against the <laughs> yeah, publishing house editor and opponents in Genius Invocation TC TCG should still be considered war but if it was me he's just turning into a ridiculous old geezer but he's still an, an elder who knows more about our heritage than i do so i have to ask him for information regardless of any disagreements we might have he's re reluctant to answer any questions that don't have to do with like novels and card games so it took me three whole questions to receive a single reply. Anyway, it took me a great deal of effort just to get a clues about the Corey drums. Yeah, he knew clues, but Nazayuna, if you had the clues all along, why didn't you go look for the lost Corey drums yourself? That's an easy one to answer, Inus. It seems like you are not in possession of a vision. That's right, I am not. And yet, you are capable of bending the elements to your will. What an enviable gift. He didn't see me fighting, how does he know? Unfortunately, I wasn't blessed with such a gift. So, it is good that you are here. I mean, we could save quite a lot of trouble for Lady Sorush with your help. Otherwise, I would have to make other arrangements. But... but just as I said before, it seems that even fate is on my side. Uh, Let's rush and you too. Please come with me. Hidden treasures may be found closer by than we think. Mm. Time to go. Get that first. Hey, there's a quest there. Time to go. That's strange, there's no path here at all. Seems like you're not all that good a, a guy, does it, you know? There are signs of rockfall. You're absurd indeed, on our envoy. I am inclined to think that monster activity caused the rocks to collapse and thus block this. Well, let us call it a path. 
Uh, but you may leave this to me, everyone. This problem requires a little spark to solve, I guess. For safety concerns, please stand back a bit. Does the unit cleans the stone press before putting a small package inside? He fills up the gap back up, retreats to a safe distance, and lights the fuse. The large rock blocking the way splinters into smaller pieces, and when the dust finally clears, a great gauge appears in, all, in its wake. Well, that's it for those stones blocking the way. Wait, why there's still a gate in the way? There's always another gate to go through, huh? Uh, we used to be able to pass through. As for breaking the seal on this great gate, we will need your help, you two. Well, guess how fast she was, huh? Well, you are here. Fallen leaves, adorn my neck! You, Glay! Let me scry! Gather! Shut! This sounds very beneath the same price here. I close the loop. I will have order. Stabilize. Stay put. That's a drum. Successful upgrade crystals. One well, looks a bit of collecting some scattered records. This is not too far from what I expected. The mechanism that sealed the tangled drum was once here, but it has been destroyed. There are even some notes here that show where the other card drums may be found. How do you lose things with notes of where they are? After scoring the lane for days, I have finally found the corded buttons. Alas, I lack the strength to retrieve them. As such, I will record their locations here. There is no detailed information on the key contents of the ritual. I have drawn the following inter inferences from a comprehensive review of the current body of research. Firstly, the element of the carbons matches the element recorded on the drum score. Uh, this is obvious and requires only a rudimentary understanding. Animal and geo drums do not exist. The reason for this, uh, the reason for this merits further investigation. Secondly, the meaning behind the notation. Notation may be divided into three categories, empty, half full, and full. The hypothesis that the musical notes refer to three types of rhythms, namely pause, light, and heavy. Thirdly, the order of reading, unable to be determined. If a lost chord drum is found, one can try to read it in the usual order, which is from left to right and top to bottom. As the elders put it, when the current drums were lost in a single night, the order of sketches was overcome with grief. Losing the drums meant losing the bridge that connects them to Barsom's familiar. And from then on, uh, the young were never again able to listen to her teachings. This was a grief incident indeed. Great efforts were made by all to search for the drums thereafter, but few gains were made due to the obstruction posed by the defiled energies. According to the elders, this is one of those old locations. 
But as you have seen, those without the power to combat the brute might of the defilement, those who cannot wield the elements, and those who have not obtained the trust of Gavarena's envoy are unable to reach this place. Arya Deva also tempted to retrieve the Dendrod Runs, the Dendrod Run here in his youth, but he did not succeed and has been silent about the matter ever since. A sense of responsibility, perhaps, or was it pride that closed his mouth? You know, when you say that the order of skeptics had a ter terrible relationship with the academia, Paimon thought that you'd all just stay here. Now that there's the big hole in the sky, never mind coming back to help out. Don't you think it's kind of weird that he's just over in Summer City writing his novels and playing his cards? Perhaps he can achieve his fantasies in his fantasies while he can not in reality. You mean writing the story of his failures into a light novel but changing the ending? How's that supposed to solve a real life problem? People need hope in their lives, even if it isn't real. Well, one of the things that sticking together is our best chance to fix this skyhole problem. It concerns the rush too, after all. Your concern, Paimon, is rather wasted on one destined for so great a sacrifice as I. Or perhaps I should say that evaluating the choices and fates of others is itself an overly prideful act. Paimon, just, just uh, help him out here. We're just here to complete the commission. We're here to respect the riches and wish them well. Uh, shouldn't be saying something that we can't just let you be. Forgive my saying so, but such thoughts might be a bit unprofessional for adventurers and specialists. Regardless, now that we know where the core drones are specifically, we need to retrieve them all. Although the trial here has been destroyed, uh, that may not be the case in other places. Whether they are or not shall be little issue. Let us leave the test to my Yasnapat. This should be no issue to someone of his caliber, no? Of course, you are professionals, no? In that case, you can find the other card drums so long as you follow these notes. I leave that to the two of you. Good luck. Right, he just remember to record the drum scores on the note on the stone walls. You'll definitely need them at some point. That's the score. I thought the score would be the notes I have to play, not the order. Okay, no, the scores are scattered around there. I think we should buy a lot of the story. And I want to see the map.
Okay. And this one's quite close. Something interesting. Right? Time to go. Solidify! This is order! There seems to be some. Explore the area ahead of us later. There seems to be some lighting from, from there. check on the recording afterwards but I think there was some lighting from from there I follow the wind to get those drums now.
And I love by taking down the story, I'll just get the last party and then we'll go through a whole sequence till, the, till we do this situation or if you have like a dungeon something like that to go through the domain before that Sam's so the water. Let's go reading the water's reflection. By going the water to the answers. That was advice to bring water level up and down. The water flow, water level going away. Okay. Oh. Oh. That? No. How do I get those? Can you go on the wall? No. Doesn't matter, frankly. Time to go. Okay, seems pretty simple. So let's get the others. Stay put. Ready? Go. Come. Clear weather all around brightens the heart. Yeah, 
Time to go. Clear weather all around brightens the heart. Mm, where's their storm here? You were afraid to fall her, pay will not feed, so should you. Simple turns not to be afraid of. I'm not afraid. Is that? Okay, what are we supposed to do? Wind strike! As one with wind and cloud! I will have order! Solidify! It's written in the stars! Fallen leaves adorn my n- Gather! Don't be scared! Delved into destiny! This is order! Decided by destiny! Okay, that was even faster than the previous one. So, no less. Okay, wrong side. Time to go. Mm, well, that is a ball. Okay, then. Oh, it's a part of a garden, a ballin. I didn't notice the fog in its switch. Time to go. Was for time. The birds call. Famous altar of uh, meditation like them, no difficult. Be that easy. Herself shall see the power, but it brings peace. Oh, you uh, uh, should play a road to light the enemies of might. The bright flame of the altar. Oh, bright flame center altar. Else, use most capitals rituals. You know, you wonder how it ended up here. You can see the fire that can carry between altars, but the seed of flame is like candle in the wind, so find a way to get out before it goes out. Okay, so let's be fast. Ah, hydro hydro rogue. Seriously, it should water that can manipulate hydro to a certain degree. The shield shoes will use hydro slimes in battle to launch mist bubbles. Burst these hydro slimes should cause their effects to rebound to their goals. For a week. Ah, special for leaf siege. Special for leaf siege can be affected by the power of Amrita and be moved by Sorush. Resurrection, Core Drum. In purple. 
I'm not even sure where I have to take them. Delayed a bit there, I'll probably lose them. Seven. Time to go. Time to go. Don't hold up. Worked. Oh, okay. And I didn't even delay it and stuff. Okay, we got them all. Go to the giant tree. Weather all around brightens the heart. Time to go. <laughs> Let's see. Next, we just need to put the corridors back in their original places before performing the piece of oranges, farm stone walls, right? Rational would definitely be happy to he to answer us when she hears her favorite music. Do excuse my presumption, but the ritual that bounds the art of skeptics of the party are one of great significance. I think they will only be proper if order of skeptics regulation. I think that will only be proper order of skeptics regulation if it's. Vinanapachi, that is to say myself, were to be to preside over it. Uh, but we were the ones who got all the five core drums. Even if you were Lady Sorush's Yasnapat, I believe this would be out of line, or should I call this prideful presumption upon her fa favor? Uh, Lady Sorush is Gvarena's envoy. She may have behaved more amicably to the two of you on account of your aid in fulfilling her destined mission. Yet, this is but a manifestation of her virtue and not any credit of yours. Do, your, do not forget her place, give praise and stand in all of her every action as you should. And that's what you say, but even though Sarush always acts all high in mind, Pavan doesn't think she's all that great or that distant from us. That does not sound like something that shall be written into a hymn of praise. Well, I'd say it's praise enough by Paimon's standards. Well, what about you, then? Do you desire, do you want to play the four drums and awaken the familiar of Barson from me? Uh, Nazayuna can do it, being a uh, bystander is alright sometimes. I'm not a bad performer. I've learned many force tunes from the Arnar. Uh, I'm curious, can I really let the guy do it? Can I really let the guy do it? Sensible person, I see. After all, such important rituals should indeed be left in the hands of one who understands our traditions the most, and who occupies the most suitable position. Silence. I did tell you before that a power's word is final. Thou not my judgment, as you will. <laughs> this guy will be the villain here. <laughs> Maybe half of a reason. <laughs> I, pro I propose to give you and no one else this honorable task. Do you accept? We need not speak such a whining manner, Sarush. That's right. If you want to ask Inus for help, just say I'll leave it to you or something. No need to for all this weird talk. This is not weird talk. These are words that befit the parts 
a parent stature. Well then, I shall take that as your appoint acquaintance. Well, if you say so, Sorush, then leave this to us. Just relax, Nazima. Uh, we know the core drums are very important. So it's not going to ruin them or anything. And it's not like I'm going to hit them with a sword. Do you remember how to perform? The most engaged strange how to read the drums. Okay. Okay, I can I don't have to remember where it should be. Uh then I have to place them on. Or can I play already? Okay, half 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 full. Let's do one wrong. I hope I don't have to do the others again. Have full, have full. Oh no, have full. Stop full. Okay, just cancels. Barson's familiar has answered our call. She must be Rashnu. Don't you think she seems kind of tired though? Looks like we might need to help her out somehow. This is Rashnu indeed, but perhaps you could have a nice meal? That's right. Grub, meat, veggies, sweets, salty. Oh, what should we get? Actually, hang on. Do I enjoy human food at all? Uh, perhaps a repeat performance might do. And so noisy, so sleepy. Uh, Pamo kind of thought this might go differently, you know, like a moving reunion after so many, after many years. Not gonna happen. You are Sorush. I recognize you. That's right. This is my Yasnapati, Ignus and his companion Paimo, and that is the Nazuraya of the Order of the Skeptics. The skeptics. He has not uh, I do not wish to know <laughs> about these human affairs. Humans and their drums are so noisy. I threw them into different places so I could sleep. 
in peace. Uh, the sand of lies. Uh, no, so this was all misunderstanding. Well, that's one huge misunderstanding when you say even Paimon doesn't do that. Oh, but our documents recorded this so very clearly. Nor did Lady Sarush say anything against this. You must have slumbered too long here, Rashno. Muddling your memory of these affairs. Surely the scattering of the Coribans was meant to select those who might clear the trials. With those who could not solve such a small problem, pro proving, proving unfit to call themselves Yasnapat. For how then would they aid me in my great work of extinguishing the sign of Apoch? The sign? I'm so tired, but this is not time to sleep. Yes, you see, he truly deserves the title of Yasnapat. He has helped me immensely, but his help alone is not enough. Rashnu, I need yours as well. Uh, I get it. It was Zervan who... She too approves of me, of course. Alright, Rashnu, will you come with me to the Vorokasha Oasis? Uh, it is not impossible. Mars, Mars is familiar. Please wait. I have many queries regarding the skeptic's tradition. Human business. Later, perhaps. We can talk later. Perhaps after I sleep for a bit. Maybe then. Oh. Nazraya, do you not have other things to attend to? We can save your business with Rational for another day. Yes, I will return to the camp to accomplish that which I should. You know, I kind of feel so bad for Nazuna right now. I'm afraid this is something we can butt into. Yeah, Nazuna and Sarush have known each other for a long time. They can settle this stuff between them, can they? Whatever the case, if you be if you come with us to the Vorokasha Oasis rational, Sarush will, will be one step closer to getting the chaplet together now. Let's go together. Going together with humans. Uh, Alright. Mm -hmm. We're done. Well, I. Hang on. Where's, where are they? Because I've spoken to me here after bringing her back. Is Russian not here? Uh, let's see. Well, now, if it isn't so rushing her, yes, no part. You sure did come back quickly. And uh, while this might sound rude, you have exceeded my expectations. Uh, whether it be foolish me or ignorant rational, I have personally saved them and brought them back to our sea of flowers. Will you see me in a different light now, I trust, Elder? Mm, I don't think it's more accurate to say that we saved them together, against putting tons of work too. Mm, you speak too much. I was planning to elevate you too, to the position of my Yasnapat, but if you will be so petty, pale floater, it seems I must reconsider my decision. Uh, actually, never mind. Who wants to be your Yasnapat anyway? Now, it may seem strange to say so, but I believe myself and my Yasnapat to be of the same root and stem, and invisible. And just as the heroes of legend should have many helpers, my Yasnapat's work shall also come from my glory. It also goes without saying that a party who shall do such a supreme deed as I will not peddle in the foolishness that is stealing another's credit. 
Therefore, as na patmain, feel free to add your your deeds to the hymn. For thus shall my great deeds seem all the greater for it. By your leave, your grace. <laughs> we are taking this a bit far, I think. Uh, that's right. We are quite used to you talking like this, Orush, but servants right over there looking at us like we are a bunch of idiots. Uh, then let's, let us not speak of things unrelated. Just as we agreed before, Elder, you can give me the Twin Horn Chaplet now, yes. Well, we did, but I can't give you the chaplet. Wait, are you going to back on your word? And now the chaplet is the symbol of Varena's recognition. How could it be given away based on private whims? Amidst the countless modes of Varena created by the transformed divine bird, only we Pari have been blessed with intelligence. It is thus that we are able to communicate with the remaining consciousness within the mother tree and get the power of Varena. But not all Pari may possess such authority. Only the Bloom Guards, those who prove worthy successors of the Divine Bird's aspirations and have the courage to see the wish through may gain the chaplet, the crown that contains wisdom. Come then, play, pray along with me to the invisible Kvarena. If you have been acknowledged, then our God will grant you the chaplet herself. Servant recites the words of an ancient hymn and Sarush joins her. It is as if a thousand birds sing out at once, and as if a hundred flowers respond. Oh, my Pokemon evolved. Oh, I got an equipped. Oh, so the chocolate just grows out of your head. Uh, well, this didn't go as we thought, but I guess you've got your twin horns chocolates now. Aren't those the horns? Aren't those the horns? Uh, you look much more reliable than before. Well, of course, I'm I am the destined bloom guard after all. Now I need only offer myself as a sacrifice to extinguish the sign of Apollos. And there you go, running your impression of you right away. But since you've got the chaplet, Sarush. Now we can go find the great song of Gvarena thing, right? Oh yeah, there's that. I remember Brisna Zayuna saying that we'll need to collect enough of those great songs if we want to perform the rite of his. And then we can pass through the darkness. But who knows if his words can be relied on or not. That is the rite of Timvat. Now... Is this Nazayuna you speak of from the order of skeptics? To think that any human remembers that right? I thought that it had been lost. I did once travel alongside human heroes to cross the darkness through the right and cleanse the impurities stained in the mother of the tree. Hey hey, looks like he wasn't mistaken then. But when that happened, I was the one who personally used the Varena to repair the seal and held the darkness at bay. Later, I was the one who fused the strongest Varena collected there into five great songs, which I used to purify the land. The skeptics should, ha should not have knowledge of the great song's existence if they rely merely on their traditional records. Maybe Nazayuna is just that interested in researching documents. Maybe there are some documents he found elsewhere that you don't know about, Servan. That will make him all the more suspicious, and I understand it. As I understand it, there are indeed others who would be interested in the great songs. 
on the same with you here i believe such small matters should not should be no obstacle and in case sorush has only just obtained a chaplet and cannot collect enough varina if you wish to conduct the ride of chimbat now we will need the power of the great songs at that time after i first scattered the monsters that had invaded our sea of flowers the great songs were scattered across the land only one was hidden by me within the waters of the Sonyata Lake here, kept away for future time of need. Now that Sorush has obtained the authority to touch the great songs, you can first go to obtain this one. As for the rest, you shall have to seek them out yourself. Safeguard them well, do not let them fall into the hands of suspicious people. Uh, I would also ask you to take care of Sorush for me, though so she may have obtained the knowledge of Lorena, I fear the wisdom and intelligence have never been prerequisites for becoming a bloom guard. So there's one here and the others I have to find for myself, there are no hints of where they are. Leave it to you to pop so shout. Okay, I wish the best and look forward to hearing the good news. Okay, uh, I gotta stop this quest here and continue probably tomorrow. Mm. I, I'll probably get around the desert and get some chests and stuff but I don't think I'll get I think it'll be part of the quest I don't think they'll just be scattered randomly like that okay uh, there's no point making a wish for now is there no I got them too already this okay, scenery is so wonderful. I'm out. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. 